नमस्ते ऑल माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स रेस्पेक्टेड गार्जियंस एंड माय व्यूअर्स एंड प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द सम मेजर पर्वस स्पेशली वी हैड फोकस्ड ऑन कोट पर्व बंडारखाल पर्व एंड द अलाउ पर्व आफ्टर दिस ऑल थ्री पर्वस जंग बहादुर राणा टोटली केम इन टू पावर and the rana reign was started from second aspin 1903 bs uh, in our curriculum uh, about the rana reign uh, that not in our curriculum even though to know about the fact uh, we have to know some history of the rana and the saha dynasty also yesterday i have written the name of the 12 kings of the saha dynasty and i had started and joined the uh, Kuts uh, Parva uh, with the uh, king of uh, king uh, and especially the Rajendra Vikram Saha and as well as uh, some Rajalasmi and Rajalasmi. Uh, today we start the causes of the revolution of 2007. Revolution means the group of people will be violated or against the uh, present kingdoms or the administrators or the government. Why the peoples revolted? All you know that when there is the, the situation is normal, when there is the rule of law, when the peoples are getting the human rights, fundamental rights, they are getting the employment, they are safe, secure, independent, in that time only the peoples can be satisfied. If not, in that time they may be revolted, they may against the uh, any types of government, so that in that time is also uh, when the Rana reign was started uh, and it is continued for 104 years, uh, but after that all the Nepali peoples were revolted against the Rana reign. So, it is called, the, it is mentioned as a causes of the revolution of 2007 BS. So, first is injustice and suppressive rule of Ranas, all you see on about uh, injustice and suppressive rule of Ranas when there is no justice yes uh, when we talk about the justice in a present scenario we have the supreme courts and three tiers of uh, courts yes supreme courts also there provincial courts also there and district courts also there peoples are getting the justice and all the power given to the supreme courts and in that time all the powers given to the uh, particular persons, especially Ranas and the Prime Ministers and law was under the Ranas and the Ranas were above the law. And there was no any similarities between the normal peoples and the Ranas peoples. Peoples are deprived from the various facilities, fundamental rights, human rights and nothing they have got. They were look like uh, animals, they are being treated by the Ranas. Actually, the lifestyle of that time was very terrific and in that time the pathetic situation was there of the every people and the ruling styles was only how to suppress them when they will suppress if anyone will speak against the rana in that time they may killed they may send to the jail or they may get the very vital punishment and as well as no one either woman men Children's, no one were safe and secure. Whatever Rana wanted, they used to do. Others only they used to see what the Rana is doing, but that they cannot open their mouth. That sort of situation was there. You can see one examples when in a ball, either that is volleyball, football, or any types of ball, when we feel a year, yes, when we feel a year, that much year can be absorbed by that ball. When the year will be more, in that time, ball can be last you have seen the examples in a same ways because of their most more suppressions when there is more years here and after that that can be blast yes in a same ways their ruling system is suppressed how to suppress when they started to more suppress after that the situation of the blasting can came so, that situation was arise in 2007 even though for 104 years Nepali peoples withstand with the anarchy. So, that set of situations. Another example we can see that uh, in our hand, okay, in our hand, if we keep some sand in our hand, we keep if some sand over here, when we started to 
make our fist as a hard fist in that time the sand can be out from our fist because when we keep look like at this position only that sand can be remain here in the same ways when they started to tide more that fist that slowly and gradually the peoples of the country became out of the fist of the anarchy so that because of the suppressive rule they are not peoples are not getting any types of rights they are not getting the freedom they are not getting the education so that injustice and suppressive rule of rana was the first cause of the revolution of 2007 bs or you can say this is the major cause of the downfall of the rana regime another is poverty and unemployment all the budget all the budget uh, only implemented for the enjoyment of the rana or the rana prime ministers used to deposit the money to the uh, foreign bank as well as all the money only for the welfare of the ranas all the monies were used for the uh, enjoyments of the ranas they used to enjoy the their life they used to collect the money for their uh, several stages so 9 10 stages so that the peoples who were engaged in the agriculture only agriculture was the uh, main uh, income source in that time so and that agricultural systems also traditional types and peoples are unable to join their hand and mouth that situation was there that is the one side and another side what was the problem problem was that and whatever they are doing either they are the animal rearing food farming or any types of agriculture the imposing of the more tax when they used to impose the more tax imposing of the more tax agriculture itself unable to fulfill their needs that sort of situation was there and additional uh, the farmers have to pay the tax to the rana for their luxurious life so day by day the peoples started to be a uh, poor the condition pauperization was taken place peoples are being so poor day by day there is the such type of problems and there was unemployment opportunity regarding the employment only for the higher post ranas were allowed to do and if some many less or many few are getting chance as a job holder or the uh, employment there are also some connections by relatives or by any techniques they are using who are totally devoted to the rana who are totally faithful person of the ranas only can get the job by their using that sort of techniques only not by any qualification and any other test so that situation was there so poverty and unemployment you can see when the peoples are unemployment when there is the poverty peoples are unable to get chance to join their hand and mouth if we compare uh, the now now situation also we can compare the country is being locked down and the government is uh, ordering for the lockdown but peoples are slowly and gradually they are coming out why because without any food and shelters peoples cannot alive if you are thinking how to be safe from the corona yes that is one reason but main reason if you are not getting to any eating materials or food and how you can survive so, so better to that we have to start our working that sort of situation and the psychology has been built in our mind too in the same ways when there is the lacking peoples have to do something so that they started to revolt against the rana so poverty and unemployment was the major cause of the revolution of 2007 bs another is old war second and old white wave of democracy old white second when old war second was ended after that in all over the world decolonization decolonization was started the country used to be colonized so that colonizations as well as colonizations means all the power taken by the uh, another country but the land is or of the another country you can see our neighboring country nepal was also under the colonizations of the britishers we can say the east india company when 15 august 1947 15 august 1947 india got the independence when india got the independence that effect 
came into our country, you have to know that even that I have to teach you as a teacher, but it is one of the shameful matter students because when there is the form of the government or dissolve of the government, always there is the requirement of the grace of the neighboring country, it is the very pathetic situation in our history. Already when I started the history, I had told that Janga Bahadur was the tactful person so that he has taken the uh, some support from the Britishers. Is it clear students so that when the old war second ended, when India got independence, Britishers went out from the India. Okay? So, now there is the government of the Indian. In that time, what sort of support was required to uh, save a government in our country or to be to permanency of the Ranas was not easy because they will not get the any grace of the uh, Britishers. So, that also another reasons after World War, Ranas became the weak. And another while talking about the wave of democracy, all we know wave of democracy means wave in a science also you know wave means uh, a kind of follow, yes, a kind of follow which moves from one place to another place. Okay? So, that wave of democracy means you can see in example in our home or in our society also if there is a wave come, suppose nowadays uh, if any many people are not similar in the society some may be poor some may be middle class family and some may be high class family in that time what happened there is the wave of the celebrating of the birthday and in that time when a poor family also has to follow that because it is a wave of celebrating birthday in our society in the same times democracy the wave of democracy was spreading the country became the independence many countries were under the colonizations of the britishers france and so others countries poland also the powerful country in that time and when this situation uh, was came that effect came into nepal so that people started to choose the democracy rather than the uh, ranarchy and as well as another things in a second world war all you know when you had gone through the world war first in first world war the prime minister uh, of the nepal was the chandra samsir and in the second world war the prime minister of the nepal was the juddha samsir juddha samsir has sent the uh, some troops to support the britishers in the second world war and when they came back from the uh, second world war they became the part of the liberation army of nepali congress they became the part of the Nep uh, liberation army this is the organizations for the anti rana they were mobilized to fight against the anti rana so liberation army of nepal became the strong when the peoples when the trained peoples army persons they came back from the second world war and they became the part of the liberation army of nepal so that world war second and worldwide wave of democracy really support the dethrone the anarchy which was continued for 104 years another is establishment of political parties and movement when we walk in groups only the oaks can be the uh, good and successful in the same ways to dethrone the anarchy it was not easy because the system was totally deep rooted and the peoples were not so eager to ag go against the anarchy because because of the suppressive rule of rana in that time some leaders take the initiation to establish the political party and the par members of some uh, some ranas also became the members of that political parties so we uh, discuss about the first political parties of our country that is prachanda gorkha but it is unable to do a good work for a long tenure we can say and after that nepal praja parishad after that nepal praja parishad uh, the chairmanship of the tanka prasad acharya this political party was established uh, in 1993 and after this when the party started the movement okay when the party started the movement the member of the political parties were killed by the anarchy all you know the four martyrs names that is dharma bhakta mathema shukra raj shastri gangalal shrestha and dasrath chand when the four brave leaders were killed or when they get the martyrdom in that time this added more fuel to uh, the fire 
to against the anarchy because people started to be aware and why they killed the people who are against the rana and because of the this initiations and because of their devotions and because of their dedications uh, we can say that uh, we are unable to dethrone the anarchy but still we are missing we are respecting our uh, martyrs which were killed by the uh, Rana, I am again repeating the name Dharma Bhakta Mathema, Sukra Shastri, Ganga Lal Shrestha and Dasrath Chand. Okay. Another uh, Jayantu Sanskritam movement, Tin Dhara Patsala of the Kathmandu in 2004 BS, they also started to support their Sanskrit language even though that was the part of the uh, aggressive nature you can say it is also the uh, part of the against the Rana system. So, this Jayantu Sanskrita movement also one of the reasons or causes of the revolution of 2007 BS and some political parties in 2004 Nepali Congress was established and Nepali Congress was established, Liberation Army of Nepali Congress was uh, became the powerful organization to fight against the anarchy as well as Communist Party of Nepal, the chairman of in that time Puspalal Asrest and in that time CPN was also established and by the political parties efforts, joint efforts, Liberation Army and many other organizations, uh, many peoples who were uh, totally upset of the systems of autocratic Rana Ren, they also taken part in the movement. So, that this is also another important cases. Another is uh, increase in political consciousness. Increase in political consciousness. When we know about our right, when you know about our duty, only we can fight uh, to get this. If we do not know what we demand, yes. Nowadays, in that time, after the 2004 or 5, you can say many peoples used to go to the India for a study. Tirbhuvan and the Chandra Samsar started the three Chandra college by their two names. Yes, Tirbhuvan is the three, and Chandra Samsar was the prime minister in that time. So, three Chandra college was started. In that time, what the Chandra Samsar had told that you have to know, students, because of this, it is the foundation stone to against the Rana Ren. Chandra Samsar le tiyo din ma bane ka thiye ki Tiri Chandra College khole ra mai le aafnei khutta ma banchar ho hanne kaam gare ko chhu. By that because people started to learn yes when in 1910 Janga Bahadur uh, opened the school uh, as a Darbar school but in that time general uh, peoples were not allowed slowly and gradually up to 2007 near about 327 schools were there and after some uh, 1977, 80 and slowly in 1990 decades and 2000 decades, some peoples are getting chance to go to the study or the, uh, some peoples are getting chance for the study and many peoples who were outside especially in the India, they were the educated and they have observed deeply uh, the movement run by the Indian against the Britishers. So, that uh, they know about the situation of the democracy and how to revolt and how to take part in these programs and how to handle the situation they were well known. So, political consciousness increase, when consciousness increase only they can oppose to the others, they can do the argument, they can raise the good points. So, that is increase in political consciousness is also another important factor. Okay. And another important factor is internal class between Rana. This point I will brief later. First we go th to the social reasons. First we go to the social reasons. Social reasons. We are living in a society. Society means we have to be safe, secure. There should be the similarities. There should be the equalities. There should be we have to get the every rights and authorities. If that sort of situation will be only society can be a good system. Yes, but social reasons means peoples were totally discriminated on the basis of caste on the basis of gender, on the basis of various ways peoples were discriminated. When that who feel inferior than the others, inferior started to become a group. They support the anti-Rana movement because of the social reasons. Now, understood students, social reasons means because of the dissimilarities in a society. Yes, when the inferior 
when the many people who are deprived from the education, who the people who are deprived, deprived from the uh, employment opportunities, people are not getting the human right, fundamental right and many other things in that times, they also became the part of the anti-Rana movement. So, because of the social reasons also, uh, the causes of the revolution of 2007 was the strong cause is social reasons. Another is active role of King Tirbhuvan. After the Prithvi Biri Vikram Saha, Tirbhuvan became the uh, king of our country. All the kings were only constitutional king. All the power vested to the prime ministers or Rana. In that time, the Tirbhuvan who was the king for a long time in history, he was searching to regain the power of the king. Previous time, the king was the supreme power, but when the anarchy was started, king was the only constitutional king. All the power taken by the Rana Prime Minister, including the Sritin Maharaj, when the king Surendra given the Sritin power by making the king of Lamjung to the Jangabahadur Rana, Sritin Maharaj also became the uh, Prime Minister, so that kings were only for the name, there was not power of the king. So, Tirbhuvan was searching that, Tirbhuvan was the democratic king, he was able, so always he was searching that opportunities by economically, psychologically and may various ways, Tirbhuvan support the anti-Rana movement, number one. Number two, in the last ending points, also what happened when Tirbhuvan left the uh, palace and he went to the India, especially New Delhi. In that time, you know, Mohan Samser was appointed king as a Gyanendra, but uh, Indian government was not accepted that. You see here also, why the grace of India and other countries is required for that. Uh, so, Gyanendra was not accepted by the other countries, because Tirbhuvan was alive and why they are appointed the another king, that is not their right. So, because of these things, King Tirbhuvan, uh, when King Tirbhuvan went out, more pressure came to the Mohan Samser because of this situation also. Because of the active role played by the King Tirbhuvan against the anarchy, that was also the another important causes of the revolution of 2007 BS. Students, we discussed the all seven points and we are not discussing of the point number 6, now I am erasing on a board. Okay. Now, we have the last point, we have the last point that is internal class between Ranas. Internal class between the Ranas, for that we have to start our lesson or learning from Jangabahadur Rana to Mohan Samser. First Prime Minister was, I am writing in short, okay, JB Rana, Jangabahadur Rana. After that, Ranodip Singh, after that, who became the Prime Minister? Ranodip Singh. After that, who became the Prime Minister? Bir Samser. After that, who became the Prime Minister? Dev Samser. And after that, Chandra Samser and after the Chandra Samser, Bhim Samser, okay. Bhim Samser, after that Juddha Samser, after that Padma Samser and after that last Rana Prime Minister is Mohan Samser, okay. All these were the Rana Prime Ministers who run 104 years in Nepal. Okay. When Jangabahadur Rana became the Prime Minister students, Jangabahadur started the Agnet system. What Jangabahadur started? Agnet system. Jangabahadur started the Agnet system. Agnet system, what is Agnet system? Agnet system means when one after one Prime Ministers, another will be the Prime Ministers. But who will be the another Prime Ministers? That is brothers. When brothers will complete, after that, uh, who will be the another Prime Ministers? Elder brother and his elder son. That Prime Ministership ranking or chance 
This sequence was made by the Zanga Bahadur. This is called Agnet systems. Understood or not, students? I think you are not clear. Zanga Bahadur have the seven brother. Okay. Zanga Bahadur have the seven brothers. And first was Zanga Bahadur. When Zanga Bahadur died, after that, this will be the prime minister. After that, this. 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 When he will die? When he will die? The son of Zanga Bahadur will be the next prime minister. This is called Agnet system. Zanga Bahadur started the Agnet system uh, when during the time of Zanga Bahadur, Zanga Bahadur visited the Europe also. In that time, he made the acting prime minister his uh, brother Bam Bahadur. That is also you have to know in history. When Zanga Bahadur started that, after that, Ranodip Singh became the prime minister. He was the brother of. Janga Bahadur, okay. Up to here, clear, yes. When Janga Bahadur and Ranodip Singh became the Prime Minister after Janga Bahadur, Ranodip was killed by the Dhir Samsher's sons, okay. Dhir Samsher also the brother of Janga Bahadur. Dhir Samsher also the brother of Janga Bahadur. Dhir Samsher's sons and conspirators killed the Ranodip because they are unable to wait to turn as a Prime Minister. Dhir Samsher was very cunning, very uh, active also, but because of his effort, he killed his brother Ranodip Singh, but he is unable to get, unable to be a Prime Minister, he was died. After that, Dhir Samsher have the 17 brothers, uh, 17 sons, okay. Dhir Samsher have the 17 sons. Out of that 17 sons, okay, all this Bir Samsher, Dev Samsher, Chandra Samsher, Bhim Samsher, yes. All these are the son of Dhir Samsher. Previous time, what was the name? Janga Bahadur Rana. Yes, but one name was Dhir Samsher. And after that, all the Samsher family started to be a prime ministers. For that, when Cham Chandra Samsher became the prime minister, when Chandra Samsher became the prime minister, Chandra Samsher started. What started Chandra Samsher? Chandra Samsher divided the Rana into A, B, and C group. Chandra Samsir divided the Rana in A and A, B and C group and how he divided? A, who can be the A group? A class, only the members of 17 families. Is it clear students? If from this 17 brothers means Dhir Samsir and his sons and their children's only can come under the group a or class A. Class A only can be a prime ministers and more than the rank, rank of colonel. Rank of colonel means major general, lieutenant general and general in army. Who can be? Only the A group. And for, by this way, you are clear now. Janga Bahadur family is not comes under the A. Is it clear? Because only the Dhir Samsir family Dhir Samsher has only itself 17 sons, so only they can be the A group. And for that, another is first married woman. Another is first married woman. They used to marry, marry many more. And who was the first? From the first married woman, that can come under the A. And second married woman, that can be come in a second group. And that should be from the that seventies, okay? And group C, it is uh, illegal married. In that time in Nepal, you can say leite. By enjoying their life, they used to give uh, many uh, more sons and daughters, and they used to take care of that families also. And they comes under the C group. Now all you are clear about the A, B, and C. When A only became the parts of Rana. What we are talking? Internal clash between the Rana. Yes. So, when the Chandra Samsar started that situation, B and C group started to revolt against the Rana. When B group and C group are not allowed to above the colonel rank, okay, above the colonial rank in army, in a writing we say write colonel and in our own normal language we can say colonel. Okay. So, after this situation is arise here, 
there is the vast discriminations between or among the ranas. So, B and C group totally against the ranas. That situation was there and one more incident started or done by the Juddha Samsir. When Juddha Samsir became the Prime Minister, what Juddha Samsir had done? Juddha Samsir sent out C students, what sort of situation is there? Sent out all the group C Ranas from the Kathmandu Valley. When Juddha Samsir sent out all the Ranas, C, C group Ranas from the Kathmandu Valley, they also became, they get chance to be revolted more against that. So, that such of situation uh, was raised by the, uh, that Juddha Samsir, you know, Bhai uh, Fute Gawar Lute. So, when that situation was there uh, between the uh, among the Rana, so it is easy to dethrone the uh, Rana uh, because of this uh, internal class between Rana, Chandra Samsir, Juddha Samsir, Dhir Samsir, and the main internal class was there. So, this incident was taken place. By that way, causes of the revolution of 2007 BS, we try to understood. Students, I hope you are clear. If uh, we know about the some historical background of the Ranarchy, only we can be clear. Chandra, because of the A, B, C family or group A and group B and group C, uh, that was the main, main causes of the revolution, we can write. But as a students, better to write or getting good marks that we have to know what is the fact of the history in a depth that is better in future. So, I have gone through the prime ministers and the Saha dynasty. So, do not think uh, it is more depth because as a citizen of the country, we have to know the normal history of our country and in previous classes in class 8 and class 9, what sort of reforms done by the Rana prime minister that is also uh, you had gone through. If we talk about the Chandra Samsar in 1977, what Chandra Samsar had done? Sati Partha was abolished, abolished yes, in 1981 slavery system was abolished and as well as 1968 census was started by the Chandra Samsar for ping electri hydro electricity in 1968 Chandra Samsar was started and many reforms also done by the Rana Prime Ministers, even though as per the age of the demand they are unable to uh, go advance. So, finally, uh, the Rana Rain was destroyed from the country. So, all these causes were of the revolution of 2007 BS. In next class, we discuss what actually happened in 2007 BS and after that what are the consequences. So, we will discuss. Uh, I hope you got whatever I am conveying or whatever I am telling you. Uh, thank you being with me and have a good day.